The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve from Boatest.com, and today I'm on Yamaha's newest boat, the 275 SD. We're going to be talking about technology that this boat brings to the table, drive technology to be specific. This is going to help you take a 27-foot boat and make it so easy to bring it into the dock, you're not going to believe it. We're going to show you by doing some bow in, stern in, side two approaches. We'll run it all. Let's take a look. The system works by these paddles on the inside of the steering wheel, kind of like shift paddles on a race car, only this time it controls forward and reverse plus their progression. So we also have throttle involved and it makes it so you can dock the boat by shifting and adding throttle without ever taking your hands away from the wheel. It's really cool. So let's get it started and see how it works. We fire up the two engines first and now right at the bottom of this connect touch screen we've got an icon showing the two shift levers. I can press that once and now I can control both engines with one shift lever but if I press it again now it's showing the paddles on the wheel and they work just by squeezing them forward and reverse. Remember the right side is for going forward. Go right ahead. That's how I'm remembering it. Squeeze it progressively and it adds more power. And you can steer at the same time without ever having to take your hands off the wheel. So now the basis of this, I can stand up and have full functionality of throttle, shifting and steering all at the touch of my hands. So let's make an approach to the dock and see how it works. So now as I'm making my approach, I'm just giving little shots of the spring-loaded paddle on the right-hand side to bring me ahead as I'm steering. Remember, it's a jet boat, so when you want to steer, you have to add a little thrust. So put a little steering in it, a couple of shots of thrust, straighten out, a couple of shots of thrust. Use these little pulses of thrust to bring you into the dock the way you want. You know, make a straight in approach because there's such a small turning radius on this at low speed. Once I feel I'm close enough, I turn the wheel hard over, get some pulses to turn it. Now I'll turn it all the way over and now reverse and bring that stern around. The bow starts to come away a little bit and it's a tight spot. There's a boat right behind me. So I'll add a little forward and just play with it back and forth and get us coming right against the dock. And notice I bounce between using two hands and one hand. Just I can keep an eye on everything looking right over the side. Before I come to the dock, I just give it a little push away for a gentle touch against the dock. The real beauty of this system is how intuitive it is. I don't even have to think about it. You just do it. Little squeeze of the paddle gives you a little bit of thrust and a little bit of steering. That's all it takes. The really cool feature is that no matter how hard I squeeze this, it'll only accelerate us so much as if we were in no wake mode. The steering, when we're in the drive control mode, take a look at this. Side to side, that's the limit of the steering. If I want to get out of drive, now look. It goes down to seven o'clock and five o'clock. So you get more steering when you're working on the throttle, less steering when you're on the drive technology, but you still get the same throw on the jets. Now, as I set up for my approach to the stern two docking, I'm gonna transition from holding the steering wheel and keeping my fingers on both paddles to actually standing up and using just one hand because that seems to work a little bit better for me. Maybe it won't for you, but it works both ways. So now I'm gonna turn the boat so the stern is facing the slip, giving little shots of power. And then when I'm lined up, I'm gonna to switch to the opposite paddle. Now I'm reversing while I'm steering just with little shots of the paddle. This is working so much better for me because now I can face the direction that the boat is going in and I don't have to worry about keeping both hands on the paddles or the steering wheel. And now once I'm in, switch to the forward and steer me right over to the dock. So now I'm going to transition to a bowing approach and this time I'll have both hands on the wheel because I'm 
facing the wheel and facing straight ahead. I don't have to worry about what's behind me. But more importantly, notice that I can do this while I'm standing. I don't have to be reaching down for the throttles. It's all at my fingertips. It's such a comfortable way to operate the boat. Squeezing the right paddle, bringing it ahead, adding a little bit of thrust, steering it the whole time. Make my approach right up against the dock, add a little reverse to bring the stern in and slow me down. And suddenly, we're stopped and right up against the dock. Pretty as you please. So, I have to say that when I first heard about drive technology, I figured it would be cool, but I had no idea how cool it was going to be. Now that I've used it, I'm really impressed with it. It's so easy to use, it's intuitive, and it makes it so literally anyone can dock this 27-foot boat with ease. And that's my full features review of the new drive technology from Yamaha. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.